Y'all can't say Sly for Vine no more, but now y'all gotta say Free Lil Dirt because his actions finally caught up with him. Five people in Chicago was charged in a federal case alleging they was contracted to unalive condo in California. These some of the mugshots of the people involved in this case. Y'all can't say Sly for Vine no more because the whole reason they did all this is for Vine. But now Lil Durk in trouble. Y'all can pause and read it. If you're trying to make bread through your phone, check out the bio. He literally got arrested yesterday. And y'all probably wondering how they even know he had something to do with it. They said because the flights and rental cars was linked to the OTF credit cards. And you know who the boss of OTF? That guy, Lil Durk. And this is what happened when motherfuckers got money because they went all the way to Cali to try to unalive Quando Rondo. I ain't gonna lie. If they ain't had money, Quando Rondo wouldn't have even been in that situation. That's that that that's when you beefing when motherfuckers will get money. What the fuck is wrong with these rappers hiring motherfuckers to unalive people? Like, do they not know that shit would never work out in their favor? Jeezy Moolah have been charged with orchestrating unaliving for hire. They said he was using contraband cell phones to order the hit. Prosecutors say Jeezy Moolah ordered a hit on a rival over social media beef, but the gunman accidentally unalived the target's girlfriend instead. And this is why they said if you want something done right, you do it yourself. Because now you pay bread to get someone unalived. The person you wanted didn't get unalived, and now you get an extra time for a motherfucker that you didn't want to get unalived. And then, say they actually did unalive the right person. And then they end up getting locked up. Nine times out of ten, those motherfuckers gonna snitch and say, you the one that paid him, so your ass still gonna be locked up. Well, in his case, he already locked up, so he gonna get more time. They living their best life. They got the flat screen with the PS5. Motherfuckers don't even got the PS5 in the outside world, and they got that bitch in prison, living their best life. I ain't gonna cap the internet be making prison look not as bad as what it actually is. Because I ain't gonna lie. Looking at this shit, you be like, oh yeah, it's not that bad. But it's most definitely bad for sure. They just making the best out of their bad situations. Because I ain't going to cap to you. Who the fuck going to be bragging about this shit, man? A flat screen TV and a PS5 inside of one bedroom with two motherfucking shit. No one ain't finna brag about that shit. But since they in prison, that's something to brag about. But I see why them rappers be okay with being up in there. Because I know they got a whole bunch of money. So they can get whatever they want. If these motherfuckers got that shit, I know them rappers living good up in there. Woody don't play about him. Anybody mess with him, Woody getting on y'all ass. So I guess someone put pause on him and Woody has something to say about it. I'm finna play the video. If you want bread through your phone, check out the bio. Dang, don't put that hand on some more. Nah, bitch, but come on, run that fade with me, nigga. Come be, nigga. Imagine you was a rapper, right? Which label would you sign to if you had to choose between any of these motherfuckers? Now we gotta do process of elimination. We getting out Gucci, cause this shit bad luck. Lil Baby, I don't never hear about no Lil Baby artist. I don't even know he had a label. Young boy, uh, his ass be tweaking. I ain't fucking with that shit. His ass be tweaking. Uh, now, it's really between motherfucking YSL, OTF, and motherfucking... Nah, I don't know. CMG got a little bit too much shit going on. YSL got that whole Rico thing. I'm going to go with OTF, but OTF got a Rico thing, but it's not as... They tripping with YSL right now. I'm going to go with OTF. Am I tweaking? No, I ain't tweaking, man. Everybody was tweaking. It looked like his ass is a part of the background, but his ass is a real person. But his ass matched perfectly with that motherfucking background. He don't even look real. I ain't gonna cap to you. But what I'm thinking is, this is a picture of a picture. And that's why that shit look like that. But I don't know. Motherfuckers be doing anything to get out of school. Why the fuck was they having a free Diddy walk out? This shit is diabolical. I hope this shit is a joke. But if they actually do that shit, that shit would be funny as hell. But I know all they ass gonna get in trouble for doing the free Diddy walkout. That shit is diabolical for sure. Like, all the walkouts you could do, you just have to do a walkout for motherfucking P. Diddy? He made it worse. I ain't gonna cap to you. A 10-year-old boy starts a petition for Apple to change the emoji because it's offensive. He said, this is offensive to motherfuckers that wear glasses. And he think it should look something like this. And I ain't gonna cap to you. This look more worse than this shit. I ain't gonna cap. Now, he don't like this stuff because it's stereotyping him as a nerd or whatever. But the actions that you're doing, this right here is nerdy activities. Like, this is what we expect someone to do that look like this emoji. I ain't gonna cap to you. Like, you making it a lot worse. And I wear glasses. I can put on my glasses right now. And I like that emoji. I don't have no problem with that emoji because, you feel me, 
I know that's not me. But obviously, you kind of feel like you that emoji, so that's why you take offense to it. Really, these kids is too sensitive because why are you doing this shit? Like, come on, bro. Glasses always was associated with being nerdy. Like, it don't mean everybody that wear glasses nerdy. Come on, now. Something seem off about this picture. That's what motherfuckers saying in the comments. So this is a photo of female stars from the popular 2000 shows are going viral. Because this is how they was looking in the show. And this is how they looking currently as an adult. And lots of people saying it's weird because they showing them as a kid and showing them now. Saying they look good as an adult. And some motherfuckers said they overreacting because it's just a before and after. Anyone that's trying to make it more than what it is, they the ones that we need to look out for. Because I ain't going to lie, when I seen this shit, I didn't be like, man, look at these little girls and look at what they turn to now. I wasn't even looking at the little girl picture for real. I was looking at what they got going on now, you feel me? But people got to realize everybody got to grow up. I feel like these pictures what made it, you know, be weird, you feel me? If they didn't use these type of pictures with them, then it wouldn't be that bad. But then you got to understand these women is the ones that's taking this picture for the world to see. But a normal individual ain't paying that kid shit no mind. They're like, oh, that's them as a kid. This them now. Cool. That's all it is to it. Now, y'all trying to make it bigger than what it is. We got to look at y'all because I wasn't even paying attention to that ass up top. I ain't going to cap to you. Soldier Boy finna be sick to his stomach when he see this. This is the first rapper to take a mug shot with their chain on. It's no other rapper that got a mug shot with their chain on. And Soldier Boy said he the first to do everything. But he not the first rapper to do this. This is the first rapper to do this shit. And I don't even know who the fuck he is. The only reason why I'm seeing him is because he took a picture with his motherfucking chain on. And not just any picture. It's a mug shot. What make this shit special? You not supposed to have no chain on when you taking a mug shot. That make you take all that shit off. These Playboy Cardi fans must be stopped. But at the same time, Playboy Cardi might be a better option than Donald Trump and Kamala. His fans is voted for him on the presidential election. You see, they wrote his name right there. And I ain't going to cap to you. You know the world is doomed with motherfuckers that put a rapper and they want them to be their motherfucking president. Like, what type of slow ass shit to that? Like, I don't even think a rapper is even capable of running their own household, let alone running a motherfucking country. This is why you never disrespect no one that cooks your food. If you try to make a thousand a week, check out the bio. He makes sure all the dirt get up on that motherfucker. And motherfucker saying this one won't eat out. How about you just don't disrespect nobody? The reason why he did this shit is because he said the motherfuckers was disrespecting him at the drive through Now, does that make that right for him to do that shit? Hell no. But come on now. If the motherfucker cooking your food, you don't want to talk to him crazy because they the ones that's in control of what's going to be in your food and what's going to happen to your food. And it's crazy because he not even going to know that this burger got rubbed on the floor. He probably like, ooh, they had extra seasoning to that bitch on game. 